everything is coming up. Roses and Bahar Niramwala tells us why it's one of the hottest ingredients in the beauty biz right now. And you love roses. Look at your shirt. Oh my God, I love everything roses. Yeah, I dressed the part today too. Yes. I'm also wearing a lot of rose gold makeup today. I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> so I wanted to start out with um, a lot of stuff was coming across my desk that was rose oriented. And I thought, okay, well, let's talk about the history of roses because roses have been in beauty as well as in some medicinal purposes for centuries. Right. So the ornamental rose or the uh, cultivated rose that we've come to know now, so the one that you might get on Valentine's Day from someone, mm -hmm. has actually been around since 500 BC. Wow. So very old, and there are species old, old, old. even older than that version. Okay. Uh, and it was found kind of in the Mediterranean and Persia and China. So when I say Persia, you're also like, what's that? Because it doesn't exist anymore. That's how old, right? right. Like that's how long ago it, the rose that we know uh, has been around. And it takes about 2,000 roses to create a single gram of essential oil, which means, oh, yeah, my it is that is it's as expensive <laughs> as like gold or saffron in terms of its weight and value. So if you ever question a rose product or a rose perfume in terms of its price, yes. that's why. Got it. it takes so a lot to get very there. Precious. Oh, very much so. And I did want to make note, uh, just a little like you know, nice uh, famous figure, Cleopatra yes. used to strew the queen of the now, the queen of half the world, used to strew flowers and roses in her uh, room when Mark Anthony would visit Ooh. because she thought then he would leave and smell roses and think of her. Talk about a marketing campaign, <laughs> <laughs> right? All I did was cook my husband butter chicken, and that seemed to work. <laughs> Every time he walked by me in the restaurant, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to start out with um, now talking about why roses. So people might, yes, it's beautiful, it smells lovely, but why? So there are vitamins, there are minerals, there, there's some anti-inflammatory, mm. antioxidant properties as well in roses. In fact, the rose hip, which grows on yes. certain varieties of roses, is one of the most potent plant sources of vitamin C in the world. So when we think vitamin C food, what do we think? Oranges. oranges automatically right yeah. so half a cup of oranges is going to give you about 50 milligrams of vitamin C mm -hmm. half a cup of rose hip is going to give you upwards of 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C you're kidding me. someone on the vitamin C council has been lying to us for sure right a long time like for a long time so go for rose hip and that's why the exactly oils. and that's why it's been in like people have been using it for so long because it's very powerful so okay. gonna first touch on a classic rose collection this is from Erin Beauty it is a really beautiful signature scent of theirs as well there were this particular rose is so so there's a body wash, there's a beautiful multi-use mm. oil. My favorite is actually their hand and body cream and I use this on my, it's on my nightstand so I put it on my elbows and my hands before I go to bed nice. because we focus here at nighttime yes. but the rest of our body needs some care too. And then I'm lullaby to that lovely scent, right? That's beautiful and you're layering it, Exa which is a beautiful way to do keeps it. Keeps it going longer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Our certified natural option, this is from Walita. It's a huge collection of wild rose oriented products. So there's eye creams, day creams, night creams and one of my favorites is their pampering body and beauty oil. Okay. It's a multi-use oil as well. You can pop this in your bath. If you really want to pull a Cleopatra, put it yeah. in your bath, put some milk in there too, and Ooh. languish in that. That's really going to moisturize and soothe your skin. Lovely. And this is a City Line sneak peek. This bottle isn't out until June. It's a new pump bottle, which wouldn't we all oh, want nice. our oils to come in a pump instead yes. of having to like get slippery and greasy, right? That's right. Very cool. Beautiful. So now our hair is going to join the bouquet of roses. And from La Coupe, this is our natural line. It's a Moroccan rose volume boost. Uh, collection. Okay. So there's Moroccan rose in here, but there's also biotin. Biotin mm. is a natural uh, booster of volume. Yes. And there's coconut water in here. There's aloe vera juice, so it's going to be very nourishing. And you're going to walk away smelling like a bouquet. I'm hearing so much about biotin now. Absolutely. It is the ingredient, One you ingredient want in your hair. Hair care product. Absolutely. Um, and then I wanted to point out Vichy. This is their Neo Vadial Rose Platinum. So it's not okay. just about rose having to be in the product. It's also about on certain skin tones, a rosy glow equals a oh, healthy. Look at Cool, that. Right? Look at the color on that. This has beeswax as well. Okay. And it is aimed at a 60 plus woman. And yeah. beeswax, and uh, when you're reaching that age, you're losing density and moisture. Yes. Beeswax is a humectant. It brings moisture to the area and yeah. holds it in place. So I say start at 50. Why not? Absolutely. I agree completely. <laughs> what do you got to lose? I just appreciate <laughs> someone now. speaking to someone who's 60 plus. So do we I. all. Yeah. When I get, I'm still going to be putting on makeup and uh, skincare. 100%. Absolutely. That's excellent. And then small niche brands I wanted to point out. Lovely stuff from Lush. 
Touch. This is a Canadian brand called Poetic Blend. It's much smaller, but that one in the front, that timeless oil, yeah. that's packed with that rosehip oil, which mm. if you use at nighttime, super antioxidant, super rich, very important. I actually use uh, um, rosehip seed oil at night in my routine. It's the last thing I put on, and I okay. wake up with happy looking skin. So better which night is the than goal. morning, would you say? Absolutely, yes, okay. because it is a thicker oil. Mm. And really cool, I wanted to point out, this is yeah. from a brand called Ecomat. Okay. It is an organic, drinkable rose drop. It's made in Bulgaria, which is one of the big manufacturers of rose essential oil. They yes. grow a lot there and they manufacture a lot. So, I have a little bit for us if you want to take a sip. Hit me up, You put like 10 or 15 of these drops in your okay. coffee, your tea, your water, and it's supposed to help hydrate from within. Oh, I like that but idea. But also, it kind of is, I'm telling you, anything rose-oriented, I'm it's a fan rosy. of, right? Isn't it? Yes, but it's really rosy natural. in a good way. Because some people are weird about drinking flowers. Some, yes, very, <laughs> something that's too heavy. It is. And, it, and nice. it tastes like a real rose, right? It really does. Yeah. It's concentrated. Too.